if you've taken my courses, you know that I give out templates, you know, like a Google document template or a Google spreadsheet template. And the question is, how do I do that? Let me go ahead and share my screen to show you how. So imagine this is a document, a uh, really important template, okay? And then I've got, you know, great, great information here with, you know, bullet points and whatever. It doesn't matter, okay? Now I want to make this a template so that someone can easily make a copy of it and use it for themselves. How do I do that? Two steps. One is I click on share and I click on um, restricted anyone with the link. And then I click on commenter. Now, this is actually not needed that you do commenter, but the reason is because I like to essentially have two templates. One is for people to comment on on the master copy if they want to add any notes or questions for me. But one is for people to just make a private copy. So let me show you. You're probably here to, to find out how to make a private copy template for someone. So you take the URL, okay? And I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you what the URL looks like. So so this is the URL, right? I'm not gonna click replace, but but this is a URL, right? And what I do is I just take away the word edit and I put template slash preview. That's it. So I took the word took away the word edit in the URL and I just uh, template slash preview. And now let me copy it and show you what it looks like. I paste it in. That's that's what it looks like. That's it. And then and then I give this link to people and they click on use template. And voila, it's the problem is not the problem. I guess the, the problem, I wish it said copy of, but it doesn't say that. So I, I always, you know, uh, in my tutorials, I always tell people, all right, this is, you click on use template. Now this is a private copy in your own Google Drive and go and click on the title and rename it as, you know, Jane Doe's, um, you know, document or whatever, you know? So that's how you do it for Google Docs. Same thing for Google Spreadsheet. Um, same idea, you know, you, ha you have a fancy Google spreadsheet with multiple tabs for, for people. I'll just show you, you know, second tab, third tab or whatever. And then, uh, you know, a great greatest spreadsheet, um, spreadsheet in the world. Okay. If, if I could spell, and then you click share, same thing, restricted, anyone with the link, viewer, commenter. And you might say, George, how do you give people two, two links? Well, I give them this link, the commenter link in my uh, in my course course notes or whatever. So let's say let, let let you know let's say this was my course notes. Like here's the wonderful you know wonderful template you know. And basically what I do is I say um, uh, click here to make to make uh, a copy for yourself, uh, and then click here for the master copy if you want to add comments for me. Okay, so like the master copy is what I just, what what, what we just got, whoops, what, what we just got from the anyone with a link commenter copy link. That's the master copy for them to come into a spreadsheet and, and insert or, or, or document and insert comments and things like that. Um, and uh, the, the, um, the link for the template template, you know, as, as we did earlier, right? We did earlier was we got rid of everything, everything, in the URL, starting with the word edit, we just got rid of that and then put template slash preview. And then let me show you what happens. It creates, it creates this. And then the template, the tabs are at the bottom as well. You know, they can click on the tabs to check out if there's anything. I didn't put anything in the tabs, but that, and they click on use this template. And then once again, it creates a private copy for themselves. I, I teach them to click on the title and please change the title for, you know, John's, John's spreadsheet or whatever. Um, I want to show you a third link. So actually, so I've given you, I've taught you now to the master copy for commenting purposes, the template copy, right? The template copy. And actually there is a way to give them a link that immediately makes a copy without clicking on use template. So, so how do you do that? You simply, I believe it's, it's instead of edit, right? You just simply do copy. So let's try this link. Yeah, that's it. So if you don't want people to look at a template, you just want to give people a link that they would just have to click on make a copy to be able to see it. That's how you do it. So let me show you. I click make a copy. And now this does it correctly. This says copy of greatest spreadsheet in the world. And this is in their own private Google Drive when, when they click make a copy. So there you go. Three ways, you know, again, a, a normal Google, Google document or Google spreadsheet link ends in slash edit. That's a normal link. And then you you can either you know share it anyone with the link commenter and and anyone with the link commenter it's still 
you know, it's uh, sorry. Let me let me go back here. Um, anyone with the link commenter link looks looks like looks like a slash edit. You know, it might have a question USP sharing or whatever, <laughs> but but this link basically allows someone to add comments to it. So that's the slash edit if you have changed the privacy, okay? And then the second thing I taught you was instead of slash edit, do slash template slash preview, okay? So instead of slash edit. And the third thing I mentioned was slash copy instead of slash edit, okay? So those three, give them a try. It's really cool to be able to, you know, share your templates with your students, clients, friends, colleagues. So hope that helps.